Hello, listeners. Welcome back to Luke's English Podcast. How are you doing today? Hmm. All right. Yeah. Good. I always ask you that at the beginning, but you know, I just it's just I'm only being polite, aren't I?、Uh, but I genuinely do hope that you're doing okay out there in podcast land.、Um, hopefully,、uh, now that you're listening to this new episode of Luke's English Podcast, your your day has improved immeasurably.、Um, anyway, welcome back to the show. Nice to be talking to you.、Uh, hello. This episode is just supposed to be a bit of fun. It's just going to be a bit of a laugh. That's the idea. But we'll see what kind of language learning、uh, opportunities we can get along the way. So,、uh, listeners, dear listeners, Lepsters, have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a lemon? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a lemon? Now. The answer to that is probably no, Luke. No, I, to be honest, I've never wondered. Never in my entire life have I sat and thought about what it would be like to be a lemon.、Um, and neither had I, listeners. Neither had I until I discovered this text adventure game on textadventures.co.uk. All right,、uh, the text adventure game in question is called Lemon Simulator. In fact, it's Lemon Simulator 2014. Which means, I, I suppose, it was written in 2014. So,、um, this is an opportunity for us to actually、uh, <laughs> simulate what it would be like to be a lemon, a citrus fruit. I love lemons. Don't you? Don't you love lemons? I love lemons. They they are sweet. They're they're tasty. They're very. Uh, bitter as well, in a way. But oh, adding lemon to a fruit salad, for example, is a lovely way to give it that extra little bit of sweetness. You can squeeze a bit of lemon into into your tea if you want.、Um, add lemon to、uh, a, like a roast chicken、uh, dinner, and、mm, delicious. But what's it like for the lemons? What's it like for these poor little fruits that sit there?、Um, In a fruit bowl, sometimes for for months and months. Sometimes they sit there going, "What's gonna? When are we gonna get eaten? What's gonna happen to us?" Let's find out today by playing the Lemon Simulator 2014 by Daniel Champion. I'm playing this one on my mobile phone today. I've done text adventures on textadventures.co.uk before. You might remember the Victorian detective series and the zombie zombie apocalypse adventure story and the Camp Stabby Wacker. Normally, ones by Peter Carlson. This time, it's by a guy called Daniel Champion. What a great name, Daniel Champion. The summary of this game is this: It says this. You wake up suddenly aware that you are a lemon. You have no idea where you are, why you're there, or what is happening. Before you start to lose your mind, you decide the best thing to do is escape before anything gets worse. And then we've got options. We can choose what to do next. Okay, so let's let's see what it's like to be a lemon.、Uh, I think the idea of the game is that you just have to survive. But l- let's let's see. But also from a language point of view, it might be interesting to see bits of. Vocabulary and different expre-、uh, and different expressions that come up in the game. I've had a quick look at the first couple of pages of the game, and certainly I can see that there are quite a lot of expressions to describe movement, as the lemon moves around and does different things. So this could be quite interesting. We'll see some verb and preposition collocations. Not necessarily phrasal verbs, but really just verbs of movement followed by prepositions to describe. Uh, positions or locations, or maybe or maybe movements. All right, so this could be very interesting from a language point of view, and also should just be a bit of fun. So, before you start to lose your mind, you decide that the best thing to do is escape before anything gets worse. So, what shall we do? We can roll off the counter. So, roll. Roll off the counter. So roll and then fall off the counter. The I suppose the kitchen top. Roll out of the window. Just escape the apartment completely, or stay still. Maybe someone will come and help. So what would you do if you were a lemon and you found yourself in that situation and you decide you have to escape? Well, let's try and escape. Okay.、Um, roll off the counter. Roll out of the window.、Um, Off the counter, out of the window. Stay still. Maybe someone will come and help. 
Mm hmm. Okay. Let, I think we should roll out of the window if we're going to try and escape. Let's let's get out of this apartment or this house completely. So I'm going to choose that as an option. Uh, the window is shut. Okay. <laughs> uh, why did it give me that as an option when the window is shut? Anyway, let's let's carry on. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stay still. Just blend in and see what happens. It says you were half right. Someone comes but they cut you up and turn you into lemon juice. Bad luck. Oh, right. I suppose that, that means I'm dead already. Already dead. But cut you up, cut you into pieces, and then turn me into lemon juice. All right, let's try again. I think we know now then what the right option is to, to, to it's to roll off the counter. Let's roll off, roll off of the counter or roll off the counter. It says you roll onto the floor. Thank God it was a soft landing. Before you have time to wonder why someone would use carpet in a kitchen, you hear footsteps. Okay, so we rolled off the counter, doof, onto the floor, but we didn't splat on the floor. Apparently it was a soft landing because for some reason there's carpet on the floor. So bam, we land on the floor, huh? carpet on the floor, and then suddenly we hear footsteps. So someone is coming. Why would there be carpet in the kitchen? I don't know. Maybe this is... Maybe this is in England where there's carpet everywhere. Although, to be honest, I've never, ever heard of carpet in a kitchen. But, um, okay, so someone is coming. What shall we do? Shall we roll to cover, try to blend in, or roll away? So to roll to cover, that means you roll to a place where you can hide behind something. That's cover. Try to blend in. Just blend in is just be unnoticeable. If you blend in, it's just like you become part of the background. So no one can really notice you. You just, you don't stand out. You just blend in. So we can try and blend in, although I don't know how we could blend in as a lemon uh, on the floor of a kitchen. Or we roll away. So you ro basically hide, just stay still or roll away. I think if we, if we try to blend in, that's not going to work. This person is going to probably find us and cut us up and turn us into lemon juice again. So I'm not doing that. Um, are we going to roll to cover or just simply roll away? I think if we roll away, it's going to be too obvious. The person's going to be like, huh? They're going to see a lemon just rolling away and surely then we'll be noticed. So I'm going to roll to cover. Let's hide. You roll under a kitchen counter. As a human enters the room, he looks around, locates a cutting board and starts preparing a fruit salad. Uh-oh. <laughs> you could leave while they are distracted or you could try to stop this fruit massacre before it starts. Okay, so what are we going to do? So the guy's about to chop up some of our friends, some other fruits. So or what are we going to do? Roll out, roll out of the room or try and stop this guy from chopping up our friends. Well, as a lemon, I wonder what we could do. Maybe we could squeeze some juice into his eyes. But I don't know what else we could do. I think we should probably escape while we can. So I'm going to roll out, roll out of the room. As you leave the kitchen, you hear the tortured screams of the other fruit being diced finely. Oh God. Horrific. So the other fruits are being diced. If you dice fruit, you turn it into little cubes. You dice some onions, for example, or dice some carrots, or dice some fruit for a fruit salad. Cut it into little cubes. So, oh God, our friends are being massacred back in the kitchen. Uh, you feel guilt for a brief second, like, oh God, I'm leaving, I'm, I'm abandoning my friends. You feel guilt for a brief second. Then remember, you're a lemon with no emotions or feelings. Oh yeah, that's right. Like, oh God, I feel terrible about... Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm a lemon. It doesn't matter. I don't have emotions. You see another human approaching. Oh, God. So what should we do? Just act natural or hide. <laughs> How do you act natural? Just like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just a lemon, just hanging around on the floor. Just la na 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 na. Look, check your phone. So act natural or hide. Um... I'm tempted to act natural just to see what happens. <laughs> but I think probably we should hide. I'm going to act natural just to see. So you act like a lemon. He immediately notices and picks you up. You realise he is carrying you back to the kitchen. 
Right, no, 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 no. We can't go back to the kitchen. We're going to get chopped up. This is like some kind of horror movie, isn't it? It's like one of those saw, uh, like a hostel movie or something. I think we need to escape. We can't go back to the kitchen. We're going to try to wriggle free. To wriggle free is to like, uh, to wriggle is to move your body. To wriggle free. To move your body from side to side, move your abdomen around. Wriggle a bit like a worm. If you wriggle free, you wriggle like that until you get out of the guy's hand and probably drop to the floor and then escape. We're going to wriggle free. You, es you try to escape, but the human realises and crushes you in his hand. <laughs> okay, dead. Dead again. We're going to have to try again here. Um, here we go. Okay, so we wake up. We're a lemon. We're going to roll off the counter. Then we... Uh, what did I do? What was my next roll to cover? Try and hide. Um, we could leave while the person is distracted or try to stop the fruit massacre. You know what? I'm tempted to actually intervene in this fruit salad massacre. I'm going to stop the madness. I don't know what we can do, but maybe we can squeeze lemon juice into his eye or something like that. So I've chosen to stop the guy from making the fruit salad. How do you want to stop him is the, is the question. So roll at him. So just roll in his direction. Attack him by rolling at him. Um, detach the light fixture from the ceiling. So apparently there's a light fixture above this guy. And somehow, I don't know how, we can detach it. Maybe the light fixture will fall on his head, electrocuting him. And then we'll be able to save our friends and escape. Or scream at him. I wasn't aware that lemons could scream. But um, scream at him would be like, ah, or hey. I think um, I think I should detach the light fixture from the ceiling. I've no idea how a lemon can do that, but I think that we should electrocute this guy before he kills all our friends. Uh, using your lemon magic, okay, you loosen the bolts holding the fan to the ceiling. So there's a fan. Was it a fan? Light fixture. Anyway, there's a fan in the ceiling, you know, a thing that spins round to keep the room cool. And I loose, I loosen the bolts. Bolts are the things that hold the fan into the ceiling. And I loosen them. Loosen, that's a nice verb. To loosen is to make something loose. It's worth pointing out that we've got, okay, two verbs. One is to lose, okay, to like to lose the game or to lose your phone. That's L-O-S-E, lose, lost, lost, right? And then loose, L-O-O-S-E, is an adjective to describe when something is not firmly attached. For example, if you've got, um, let's say, my microphone. My, my microphone is in a microphone stand. And if I uh, loosen the... Um, if I loosen the nuts that, that hold the microphone in place, then the microphone will be loose and it'll swing around in the wrong position. So I so I don't want these fittings to be loose. I need them to be what's the opposite of loose? I want them I want the fittings to be tight so that the microphone doesn't move around a lot. Okay? So loose and tight are the adjectives and the verbs are to loosen okay to make it loose and tighten meaning make it tight. Similarly with your clothes, your belt you might loosen your belt if you've just eaten a big dinner. You might loosen your belt to give yourself a bit more room. And uh, you might tighten your belt if you feel like your trousers are falling down. So apparently what we've done here is we've loosened the, um, the, the bolts holding the fan in the ceiling. It falls, crushing the man and freeing the fruits. They thank you and ask you to join their adventure group. Fantastic. So we killed the guy who was going to massacre our friends and the fruit have all invited us to join their adventure group. Um, great. I think that safety in numbers is a good idea. I think we should definitely join this group of rebel fruits. Um, fruits, meaning different types of fruit, right? I'm joining the group. Okay, I've said. You join the fruit army, and the remaining fruits are now your companions. You now have their support. You leave the house, but then a thought occurs. Where to go now? Okay, so where are we going to go? We're outside the house. We've made it out. 
Where should we go? Back inside the house? No, I don't think so, because there is another human in there, the one that squashed us before. We can go to the greengrocers. The greengrocers, that is the uh, place that sells fruit and vegetables. Or we can go, or we can go to the garden centre. Hmm. I don't think we should go to the greengrocers because we're just going to end up getting bought or sold and then eaten or something, aren't we? So uh, maybe we should go down to the garden centre. What might happen at the garden centre? I don't know. Maybe, maybe the destiny of a lemon, really, the real destiny of a lemon is to somehow get the seeds of the lemon into the ground to uh, grow a new lemon tree. Right? This is, you know, ultimately, as a, a life form on planet Earth, what it really wants to do is propagate itself. It basically wants to have sex. It wants to have lemon sex. I mean, lemons obviously don't have sex. So what's the equivalent of, of a lemon having sex? It's to have its seeds get planted in the ground and to grow a new plant, right? That's like kind of like the, the equivalent, I would say. So that's surely what this lemon would like to do. And I think the garden centre is the best place to do that. A garden centre is a shop where you go to buy uh, soil um, and plants and all the things that you would need for gardening. So let's go down, let's go to the garden centre with the other fruits. Here we go. On our way to the garden centre. You enter, huh? I didn't want to go to the, hold on, I chose garden centre, but it said that I've gone to the greengrocers. I think something went wrong. Okay, well fine, we're, let's go to the greengrocers then. But I, that's a pity, I was desperate to to go to the garden centre and spread my seed, as it were. Um, so anyway, here we are in the greengrocer. You enter the greengrocers, but are caught in a trap. The grocer menacingly walks over, puts you in a sack, and takes you to the store cupboard. You and the companions must find a way to escape. Oh, God. The grocer, this is the person who runs the greengrocer, the guy who sells fruit and vegetables, he's put us in a sack... A burlap sack, perhaps. Long-term listeners, there's a reference for you. Um, so he takes, he puts us in a sack and takes you to the store cupboard. You and the companions must find a way to escape. So we're in a sack now with the other fruit. So what should we do? Use companions to stack up to high window. Exit via air vent or beg to be let out. Okay, so the first option means that with the other fruit we stack one on top of the other in order to get to a high window or we exit via an air vent there's there's um an air vent like a place where the air can come in and out i suppose that's a bit like one of those um things in movies you know there's always a an air vent in the ceiling or in the wall and the hero climbs inside the air vent and crawls through like in uh, die hard or something so either we go through the air vent, we stack up on top of each other to a high window, or we just beg to be let out. Like, please, please, can you let us out, please? That's to beg. Um, I'm not sure about the window. I feel like if we go out of the high window, then I'm the only one who'll be able to escape and my other companions will be left behind. I don't want to beg to be let out because that's kind of pathetic. So I'm going to try to exit via an air vent. Maybe we can have a kind of Bruce Willis crawling through the air vent moment. Let's try that. There is no air vent present. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the option. Apparently there isn't an air vent. So my Hollywood dreams have been um, destroyed there. Okay, let's... I don't want to beg. Let's try and stack up on top of each other to get to the high window. I'm going to do that instead. You try to climb the Tower of Fruit, but fall to your death. Try again. Oh, God. Dead again. Right, let's try again. Does this mean I have to go to the start? It does. Okay, roll off the counter. Uh, roll to cover. Stop the madness. Detach the light fixture. Join the group. Let's try the garden centre again. No, it's still sending me to the greengrocers. Okay, I need to, to beg to be let out. It's the only option. Here we go. You beg, plead, and cry to be released, and the grocer agrees to let you out, 
but only if you murder the companions with a spoon. <gasps> what? So the the only co the condition for my release is that I kill my com my fruit companions with a spoon. <gasps> no, I could never do that. I'm not going to kill them. So don't kill them. You refuse and are kept in the cupboard for eternity. It looks like I'm going to be I'm going to have to kill my fruit companions. This is terrible. Right, let's try again. Off the counter. Roll to cover. Go to the green grocers. Oh, okay, so there's something wrong with the game. If you choose to go to the greengrocers, it sends you to the garden centre. Right, that's it. So we're in the garden centre now, which is what I wanted to do. You and your fruit companions enter the garden centre and demand information. But only then do you realise that the fruit companions are wanted criminals. Uh, oh no, what have they been doing? The police arrive and arrest you and sentence you to life imprisonment. You sit alone in your cell, cursing the fruit companions and unsure what to do. Oh God, so those, that gang of fruit, they were actually a bunch of criminals wanted by the police and now I've been arrested and I'm in prison suddenly. So what am I going to do? So I can file at bars of window, search room or serve sentence. So to file the bars of the window would be a way to escape. File is like a metal thing which you rub against something. It could be to rub against wood or rub against something else that's metal in order to sort of um, sand it down, file it down. You also file your nails, right, to kind of keep them smooth. You can file uh, the metal bars on the window to try to um, maybe break them. So that's a, a way to escape. Or I can search the room or just simply serve my sentence, meaning stay in prison and just complete my 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 sentence but it, I mean it's life imprisonment so I might be there until I'm dead and since I'm a lemon I mean how long do lemons survive they I mean they're good for a couple of weeks aren't they so maybe that's not the best idea I think I'm going to search the room see what's available you find a file under the bed and a toothbrush and a crack in the wall so what shall I do brush my teeth file at the bars of the window or serve my sentence I might as well brush my teeth. I mean, you know, we can't underestimate the importance of dental hygiene, even when you are stuck in prison and you're a lemon. So I'm going to brush my teeth. You have no teeth. Right, of course, I'm a lemon. All right, clearly I need to file at the bars of the window. So let's try and break the metal bars and escape. Let's see what happens. Uh, you file at the bars of the window, but they immediately fall forwards making you wonder why you went to the trouble of finding a file. So the bars fell off anyway. Anyway, you climb through the window and roll to freedom. Without your fruit companions, you continue your journey. Okay. I still want to go to the garden centre. I think that's still my, my aim. So I'm going there. You roll to the garden centre and ask about lemons. The garden centre doesn't sell lemons and a member of staff politely asks you to leave. So basically, uh, hello, uh, I was wondering if you could tell me about lemons. And the, the person says, I'm afraid we don't sell lemons uh, here. So anyway, you, you, we're going to have to ask you to leave. Can you, can you get out, please? So what should we do, leave or refuse? Hmm. I, m maybe I should stand my ground. I don't want people to just push me around. You'll have to leave now, please. No, I refuse. I'm going to stay here until you tell me about lemons. I'm going to, I'm going to refuse. I want to stay. You demand for more information, but they know nothing about lemons whatsoever. So I can leave or persist, which, is, which means just continue. Keep trying, even though they keep saying no. I'm going to persist. I demand information about lemons. You explain that you are human and have been trapped in a lemon's body. Thinking you are crazy, they grab a battle axe and command you to leave. A battle axe is a huge axe used in battles, you know, like something from Lord of the Rings. I command you to leave this garden centre immediately, is what's happening. So what do we do? Should we leave or should we start a duel with the person? A one-on-one -on -one fight? I think we should duel this battle axe wielding garden centre crazy person. You pull out a concealed broadsword, a huge 
double, you know, double-handed sword, and cut off the opponent's head. Sl Wham! The surrounding customers flee the scene in fear of you. Huh. So, I pull out a broadsword. Wham! Take the guy's head off. Everyone runs in different directions, terrified of this murderous lemon. Now what? Shall I leave or look for more information? I think we need to look for more information. Maybe there's a lemon tree or some information about where lemons come from or some clue to solve this mystery. You enter the employee's lounge and after searching for a few minutes, you find a secret passage behind a vending machine. Ooh. After following a long, dark passage for several hours, you find a candle-lit altar with a pile of ashes on top. <laughs> okay, that looks like some kind of shrine um, at the end of this weird secret corridor at the back of the garden center. And there there's this weird, like, uh, shrine, like a kind of, maybe there's a religious cult that's 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 been using this shrine for some weird devil worship or something a candle lit altar with a pile of ashes on top ashes is when something's been burned like you know when a cigarette burns the ashes get tapped into an ashtray i don't know what the ashes are but let's see so my options are i can sift through the ashes search through the ashes that are on top of this altar. An altar is like a table in a church, isn't it, where religious um, ceremonies would be carried out. And there's candles, it's candle lit. So I sift through, I can sift through the ashes, meaning look through the ashes, or I can urinate in the corner. Now, um, I, mean, I suppose I've been walking down that long passage for several hours so there's a chance I would need the toilet but I don't think that's the I don't think that's appropriate I don't think it would be appropriate to pee in the corner so I, I'm curious about this this ceremonial uh, shrine thing I wonder what they've been burning I wonder what it is I'm going to sift through the ashes and see what I can find upon closer inspection you find chunks of potato in the ash and you realize you are in the den of the notorious anti-potato cult. <gasps> you quickly call the police. And they are on the scene in minutes. The area is declared a crime scene. The members are arrested. And you are made rich as a reward from the police. You are officially the world's most famous lemon. Wow, brilliant. I think I completed the story. Is that it? Is that the story? Let's see what happens if I change, uh, if I take some different uh, decisions. So I'm rolling off the counter, right? I'm going to roll to cover. I'm sure the other options get me killed. I'm going to stop the madness. We're going to kill. Uh, uh, we're going to kill the guy with the fan from above his head. Very satisfying. I'm not going to join. The, the group, because they're criminals. Let's see what happens if I don't join. So you politely decline and leave the house on your own. Then a thought occurs, where to go now? All right, so where now? We'll go to the... the we'll go to the garden centre and ask about lemons. And then let's leave this time and see what happens. You roll out. Let's go to the greengrocers then. Okay. So the greengrocer is happy to help. Okay, so the greengrocer knows about lemons. Brilliant. He says he gets his lemons from a mystic in the middle of London. A mystic is like a sort of a... Uh, how would I describe a mystic? A mystic is someone who seems to have magic knowledge. Someone who's connected to the spirit world. Someone who sees things that other people don't, does, don't see. Like a psychic. So he gets his lemons from a mystic in the middle of London. You leave the grocers wondering how you could ever get to London. So I can either take a bus, fly with my lemon magic, or steal a car. Now, it would be obvious to fly with lemon magic, right? But for some reason, I fancy taking a bus. I like taking, I like taking the bus, and, you know, public transport is probably better for the environment to use shared public transport. I'm going to take a bus and see what happens. I wonder what the bus driver is going to think when I get on. 
Okay, you aren't in possession of a bus pass. Okay, I've, I don't have a bus pass. Well, I can go and get one apparently, so let's do that. You contact your local council and within days, they give you a bus pass. You collect your bus pass and take a bus to central London. Now, to find the mystic. So where shall I go to find this mystic? I can go to the British Museum. I can take the underground to the London Eye. The London Eye is that sort of big wheel, a famous tourist attraction on the south bank of the river, which you can go round. It's a great way to get views of the city. Um, I can visit a local cafe or ask for help. Um, hmm, hmm. I think I better ask for help. I think if I was in London looking for a mystic and I didn't have the internet and I was a lemon, I think I'd probably have to say, excuse me, um, excuse me do you know if there's a mystic around here anywhere? And they'll say, ah, talking lemon. But I'm going to do that. Let's see what happens if I ask for help. You ask a passerby if they know of any mystics. They stomp on you and run away. Barely living and in extreme pain, you crawl to the side of the road and beg for help, but they stomp on you again. You die. So I got stomped on. I got stamped on. So to get stomped is when someone aggressively crushes you with their foot. Great. Can I remember the sequence of events? Roll off the counter. Roll to cover. Right. Don't ask for help. That's... I have to remember that. So, British Museum, take the underground to the London Eye or visit a local cafe. I'm going to go to the British Museum because the British Museum is full of interesting items, including things like um, mummies from ancient Egypt and other potentially magic and mysterious things. Maybe our mystic is somehow connected to that. So, let's go to the British Museum. Since you're in the area, you visit the British Museum. You're pretty impressed with what's on display. When you notice a, a poster, not an poster, it's a mistake. You notice a poster on the wall advertising a local mystic. Fantastic. Let's go to the mystic. You roll to the location shown in the advert and enter the mystic's shop. You're greeted by a scent of elderflower and garlic and the mystic reveals herself. Now that you are here, you can finally ask to be reverted back to human. So when I played this, bef uh, you know, previously, I completed the game. I became the most famous lemon in the world, I think, or the most famous lemon in London or something. But really what I want is to become human again. I mean, there's also that side quest, which is to somehow plant my seeds in the ground to propagate the lemon species. Um, but really what I want to do is um, become a human. So I've got two options. I can throw. I, I can. I can throw an incendiary grenade. An incendiary grenade is a grenade that explodes in a fireball. Not sure that's a good idea. Or I can start a conversation. Let's start a conversation with the mystic. Hopefully she doesn't want to eat me or use me in a cup of tea. So what do I say to the mystic? Please turn me back. Uh, make me human or I will kill you. I can start a conversation with, hey, boss. <laughs> um, which is the sort of thing that someone might say to you in the street, like some dodgy person. Hey, boss. Uh, sorry, what? Do you want to buy some DVDs? You know. Um, or I will give you money in exchange for my humanity. So basically, it's a it's polite request. Please turn me back to a human. It's a threat. Make me a human or I will kill you. It's a, a weird conversation starter. Hey, boss. Or I'll give you money in exchange for my humanity. I don't actually have any money. So I think I should just go with the polite request. Please turn me back. Let's see what happens. No, she replies. Okay, great. Okay, so I can say uh, why or I can go, boss. Hey, boss, please. Let's just say why. Why? Because I don't want to, she answers. She grows tired of the conversation and shoots you with an air rifle. Poof. An air rifle is a gun that uses uh, air pressure to fire little lead pellets or ball bearings out of the end. So, pow, I got shot. Ah, ah. 
I got shot by a stupid mystic. Right, I'm going to have to try again. Let's go back to the mystic. Start a conversation. Please turn me back. Make me human or I will kill you. Hey, hey boss. Or I will give you money in exchange for my humanity. Hmm. I'm going to go with the... Uh, hey boss. <laughs> hey mate, hey boss. Hey boss. Yes boss. She responds. Give... <laughs> give the humanity boss. Or... Can I have humanity, please? I don't know what accent this is. Give the humanity, boss. Or can I have humanity, please? Uh, can I have humanity, please? I'm going to go with that. She's going to say no. K, she says. With her magic, you become human again and are free to eat all the lemons you want without guilt of cannibalism. Yay, we did it. Yay, we managed to complete it. Let's have one more go and see what happens if I, I don't know, what shall I do? Let's try something else. I'm going to go to the, um, I think I'm going to go, all right, let me go through this again. Get a bus pass, British Museum. Okay, so I'm at the British Museum again. Now, instead of going to the Mystic, I think I'm going to have a look around because, you know, listeners, the British Museum is a fantastic uh, place and a great tourist destination for any holiday maker visiting London. You should definitely go to the British Museum. They've got some amazing things. So I think while I'm there, I might as well have a little look around and see what I can see. So, you are simply astounded by the ancient artefacts being shown. You don't want to leave. Everything looks so pretty. You notice an ancient lemon history exhibit, but it's behind a metal door locked with a number lock, of course. However, you, noticed a, you notice a post-it note with the passcode shown clearly. 717605. A post-it note. You know, these are like those sticky notes that people put on uh on 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 desks or on the on uh, on the computer or something or on in books. Little sticky it no sticky notes. So there's a post-it note which apparently has the passcode for this lemon history exhibit. Okay, we've got to look at the lemon history exhibit. So I'm going to enter the passcode to get past this metal door. It's like being, it's like Resident Evil or something, isn't it? You cannot reach the number pad, but a guard sees you looking upon it with intent to reach it and beats you to death. Oh. Right, try again. Off the counter. Roll to cover. Stop the madness. Detach the light fixture. Don't join the group. Green grocers. Take a bus to London. Get a bus pass. British Museum. Keep looking around. Okay, so here we go. We're back to the uh, metal door in front of the ancient lemon history exhibit. I know that if I if I enter the passcode. That's going to get me killed. So I'm going to eat a bagel instead. Why not? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, you find a bagel on the floor and eat it. However, it is poisoned and you die. This is ridiculous. Okay, this is going to be the last thing I do. Let's let's do this all over again. So, all right, this time, instead of going to the British Museum, I think we're going to go to the, the London Eye, which is, again, another great destination if you are holidaying in London, folks. Let's go to the London Eye. It's probably going to get, I'm probably going to get killed. But this is going to be the last thing I do. Because I've already completed the the game uh, twice now, right? I managed to become a human and eat as many lemons as I want without feeling guilty. And also, I became the most famous lemon in the world. Not bad. Let's see what happens if I go to the London Eye. You take the tube to the London Eye, hoping to get a better view of the city. You see many things, including 14 violent crimes. <laughs> but eventually, you see a billboard advertising a mystic in the area. All right, so let's go back to the mystic. Um, I think I'll start a conversation. Um, uh, let's just get straight to the point. Make me human or I will kill you. I think she's probably going to shoot me with an air rifle again. She blows you up with her magic. Get wrecked, she says. You lie in pieces, dead and still a lemon. 
So there you go, listeners. That's been Lemon Simulator 2014 by Daniel Champion. Well done, Daniel. Uh, what a champion you truly are for coming up with such an ingenious and entertaining story. So there you go, everybody. That's what it's like to actually be a lemon. You know, I asked you that question at the beginning. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a lemon? Well, we, de- we then did wonder what it would be like to be a lemon. And apparently it would be like that. Basically, you, most of the time you're getting squashed, chopped up, eaten, juiced and other things. And it's rare, apparently, that, that lemons actually manage to get their seeds into the earth in order to grow new lemon trees. So ah, it, if there's one thing I've learned from this, it's that it's it's good to be human sometimes and that I'm glad I'm not a lemon. I'm perfectly happy being a human. Thank you very much. Um, so there you go. Um, you could play that game yourself, you know. You'll find the link in the description if you want to play the game and you'll see that there are loads and loads of different options and maybe there are different storylines and possibly different endings depending on the other options that you take. Um, so you could try doing that and you could also have a look at the other text adventures they've got um, on that website. It's quite good fun. Okay, well this stupid um, lemon story uh, is finished now. I hope that you found it entertaining and uh, I hope you learned a thing or two. You could go back through that and kind of pick out some of the language from it, couldn't you? That might be a good idea. Um, but that's all for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. I'll speak to you again soon in some form. I don't know if we'll be doing uh, 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 similar things. Probably something completely different next time. Uh, But in any case, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will speak to you in the next episode. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.